Hello, we have a few more lectures to go before we close this section of the Python basics and before you consider yourself that you know the Python fundamentals and you can write basic scripts of Python. So a few lectures before this I explained you how to open and read data from a text file. In this lecture I'm going, I'm going to show you how to create a new text file and how to write a text in that text file. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to start an interactive Python session. You can use a python.py file if you like to write the code. Let me ask for help on the open function. You see that when we use the open function, we pass the file path, which is this argument here of the open function. And then we didn't pass any other arguments. You see this mode equals to R. This is actually the second argument that uh, the open function gets. It's actually a default argument, so it has a default value, which means if you don't pass that argument, the open function by default will know that you're opening a file, an existing file in read mode. So your interest is that the file path that you're passing here, so for example, sample.txt, your interest is that you want to read data from this text file. If you want to write data from a text file, then you want to specify the mode to another value, which I'll show you uh, just here. Press Q to exit that. My file equals to open, let's name this file employees.txt. And then you want to specify the mode, the file handling mode. So W. Now, what you just did is you created a text file in the current directory. So in my case, in the basics directory, you can check that in here. LS in the sister bash terminal. Mm, so it should be somewhere here. Yeah. Employees.txt. Now, to write something in that file, you use the right method. Let's say Mike. All right, you get four, which means you just wrote four characters in that text file. So Mike has four characters. Now, if you open the employees, the TXT file, maybe you were expecting to see Mike there, but Mike is not there yet. The reason is that you basically you, you haven't saved the changes in that file. To save the changes, you want to apply the close method. So this will save and close the file. If you exit that file and open it again, you'll see that Mike is there in the file. If you want to write multiple lines in that file, you could do something like this. You need to open the file object again to create it and then Let's say you want to add Joe backslash n Jack. So backslash n will behave like a break line. And actually you see that you got 13 there, which also includes the backslash n. So backslash n is considered one character. My file close. Close this now and open it again to see the changes. So you get Mike, Joe and Jack. Note that any time you execute these lines, what Python is doing is it's, it is creating a new employee's text file that overrides the existing text file. Therefore, what we have written there before, like we wrote Mike there, but Mike will be overwritten now by the new text file. So basically, every time you apply the right methods to a file that has been opened with W, mode of that right methods will arise from scratch from the beginning i hope that is clear and you can also try this let me call this uh, in place two you can write mike you can write joe close the file and see what you got So you get both Mike and Joe. As you see, you can apply multiple write 
method to a file that has been written with uh, that has been opened with w and those write methods will apply the string so uh, the first you wrote mike mike was appended to the file and then you wrote, wrote joe and joe was appended just after the first string that's what happens so it's not the right method that actually overrides uh, the existing text because in this case the, the second right method didn't overwrite mike so joe didn't overwrite mike it's actually this line here that overrides a text a, a, the entire file it creates a new text file now if you want to show this one at each line well what you do in that case is let me create overwrite the existing file let me close this first so overwrite employees 2.txt and then what you want to do is write mic mic will be written there and then if you want to write another line but you want to, you want the, the line to have a break line you do backslash first and then joe like that close You see that you have a break line there so anytime you add a new string to the file you need to use this backslash n if you want it to be to be added after a break line now if you're interested to actually append some text after this existing text file i'll show you how to do that in the next lecture see you there